So, what is the role of stress? Well, first of all, as a scientist, here is very clearly something to do for a number of years. Uh, because the very obvious early conclusions I presented you, well, cortisol reduces BDNF, stress is bad, you should avoid stress, you should run it voluntarily. Well, those conclusions are all too simple. There are some complex interplays between stress, forced versus voluntary uh, exercise, etc. And let's see, what is stress doing? Well, as I told you, the consequences of stress have almost always been measured on BDNF in the hippocampus. It is very rare for people to look in other parts of the brain. Tradition plays a great role in science, and if everybody else measured in a particular brain region, why not go on doing so? Uh, so, of course, that's a good reason. However, looking in the rest of the brain might make sense. There's another tradition, and I think uh, we, the males, are actually uh, not the majority here. However, if we had been rats studied in neuroscience, we would have been not just the majority, but almost the only organism studied. Male rats are by far studied more than females. Uh, and it's very rare in various studies to compare the two genders in various animal models. Why am I saying this? Well, because here are some results from males and from females, and we are studying here the levels of BDNF uh, in various uh, levels of stress within parts of the frontal part, especially various uh, prefrontal regions of the brain. And here are the non-stressed ones, here are the stress, those measured right after a period of stress in males and in females. And here are those measured uh, a bit later, 60 minutes post-stress. Um, and first of all, the point is that here the levels of BDNF are boosted by stress. So within some parts of the brain at least, it looks as if stress might actually increase the concentration of BDNF. Uh, so that's one message. Another message is that this comes out very clearly in the males, but not in the females. So it looks as if there's a differential effect in males and females of this. And this is kind of interesting because, first of all, of course, people say, well, when you're using animal models, how can you generalize from animals to humans? Well, that's, of course, always a big challenge. Uh, but the fact is that maybe we should stick to the challenge of trying uh, to generalize from animal models to male patients uh, because actually female animals are so rarely studied that maybe we know uh, very, very little about the female organism uh, as opposed to the male one. And here is at least an indication that there are gender differences. Uh, this might have relevance to some of the psychiatric conditions where we do apparently have uh, gender differences, for instance, the uh, depression associated with various kinds of stress. Of course, some argue, well, the gender difference is actually not there per se. It is just, if you look at those diagnosed, uh, there are more females diagnosed than males. Uh, the males, uh, they uh, self-medicate, they end up with a diagnosis of alcoholism, for instance, uh, because they do not end up with the depression diagnosis, etc., or they manage to kill themselves uh, before you get the diagnosis. Anyway, it might be of interest since stress and BDNF is also associated with depression, for instance, that there is apparently a gender difference.